hey y'all and make some spaghetti with me so i'm gonna be honest y'all i'm not in this video not once i don't think well maybe once y'all might see me once in this entire video but um yeah i'm doing a voiceover i decided i would try to give that a go because i never do voiceovers i feel like it's awkward i feel like i talk a little bit different i feel like i turn on my professional voice and yeah it, i just yeah and, and i ramble like i am now but here i am cutting up a bell pepper for my spaghetti and i'ma also slice and dice up an onion i'ma try a little tiktok hack that i've seen that i don't even like i'ma be honest i would you know five out of ten recommend not ten out of ten recommend because i don't like it but yeah the tiktok trick that i seen is for the onion y'all gonna see it in literally a second after i finish up this bell pepper but basically the guy was like if you leave a little piece y'all gonna see the piece that i'm talking about i don't know what it's called but if you leave it on the onion then it's supposed to reduce the chances of your eyes burning when cutting up an onion yeah it worked until i started dicing up the onion you know after i cut around the piece he told me to leave on like y'all will see in the video that it didn't work you know my eyes still slightly burn not as much as they normally do but it still burned um but another tiktok hack that i learned or that i seen and that i use when i cut my onions up except for this one time and i should have but you know that's my fault I'm trying to try something new stick with what you know don't try nothing new y'all but anyway one of the things that i learned from tiktok is that if you take a cold wet paper towel and place it on your cutting board it'll absorb whatever it is that caused your eyes to your eyes to burn while you cut up an onion and that really will prevent your eyes from burn, burning 95 percent of the time and that's what i swear by except for this one time i'm gonna add a little bit to the chili i'm gonna stir up my noodles and now here's some aria hey ray say hey yeah. what did you say my food tasted like the other day my chicken um, alfredo it tasted like it was from the restaurant it did and what did you just ask me to taste uh onion onion yeah all right let me get you I don't know, little piece. Uh, she want to taste a raw onion. Oh my, 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 You got to chew it up and swallow it. Get out of here. Onion. Onion. How it tastes? Good. Good? Onions are nasty. What'd you say, Brian? Onions are nasty. They nasty. Yeah. You haven't even tasted one. No, I don't know why. <laughs> Is it nasty, Samaria? Your mouth burning? You go get you something to drink, girl. Cook. Look, look at me. Cooked onions taste better. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. It tastes too. It tastes like money. It tastes so bad. Like what, Brian? All right, kudos to my girl Samaria for trying that onion. Even though the girl was trying to act like she um liked the onion, she didn't like the onion. My girl could be an actress if she really wanted to be. <laughs> um, but I don't even think she like cooked onions for real, unless it's cooked into a meal and she's not aware of it. Um, Brand on the other hand, he just be talking. That boy is so picky. He has never had an onion, so please ignore him. And then he was like, it tastes like a onion. Like what, Brand? <laughs> anyway, back to me cooking. Sorry for the intermission um i'm cooking the ground beef hamburger meat whatever you want to call it right here on the stove as y'all can see and i got my onion and bell pepper in the pot as well normally i would saute the onion and the bell pepper prior to cooking the hamburger meat and then throw the hamburger meat in but i'm gonna be honest i was i was hungry and i was rushing so i was trying to get it all done so we threw it all in there together and we gonna get it done yeah, Samaria mom came and picked her up at this point, so that's why I keep stopping to cook. That's why my grandma chilling in the background. She took her, her rice off the stove because she was making rice to go with her chili. The chili was for my grandpa and for her, but she took it off the off the stove. You know, hear me go, hear me go. Here I go over explaining, but she chilling in the background. Brand on his switch, could care less about what we doing. Yes, I use the ragu jar spaghetti sauce. If you don't like it, talk to your mama. But this is what I like. This is what I swear by. And so, yeah, we're going to let that simmer for a little bit and let all the flavors cook, at, cook into it. But, yeah, and I got this off of TikTok as well. But here's Brayden. Yummy. Brayden is eating. 
Yeah, so Brayden woke up hangry from his late nap this day. And so we just went ahead and made him some beef and let him eat that because there was no way he was waiting for spaghetti. And yeah, I went ahead and added some spaghetti sauce. I prefer a lot of spaghetti sauce. As y'all can see, I put in six scoops. Yes, I count it. Add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of cheese. Talk to your mom if you don't like the sugar, but that's what I swear by. And I added some other stuff, but y'all not about to judge me. Now, on to my cucumber. And I will say that this is a different day from the day I cooked the spaghetti. But this is one of my favorite snacks that I've been eating recently. I used to eat it a lot when I was younger. Um, but I just, you know, got back in the habit of eating it. So it's literally just a cut up cucumber like y'all can see me doing here. I cut the peelings off because I just prefer it that way. If you want to eat the peelings, eat the peelings. Um, and then I'm going to throw some ranch on there. Now, in this, in this clip, you're going to see me add a ton of ranch y'all i doubt the back because it don't take all of that ranch and i will say like my preferred ranch is the great value ranch like i prefer over the name brands if i'm being completely honest but that's just me and my opinion but yeah I'm, I'm gonna eat this whole cucumber this is a quick little snack for like a late night snack if i want to eat something in the middle of the night or like if i need something to hold me over to the next meal because it is actually quite filling um and yeah it's 10 out of 10 recommend in my opinion I want to try like some something with it like throw something with it but I don't know what yet and now here I am cutting up me some strawberries and grapes again this is a different day for me cooking the spaghetti I actually think this is me the same day as me eating the cucumber because I look, it look like I got on the same outfit but I don't know because I got about 10 um black sweatshirts with different things on like the um top corner area i don't know like you know how the shirts got polo on like little polo, polo hoods in the top corner that i got so many like black crew necks that i made with like little different things on them so anyway um yeah i'm just cutting up some grapes and some strawberries this is just some fruit that we had left and i didn't want it to go bad so i'm cutting it up slicing and dicing it y'all know i love slicing and dicing it up y'all probably don't know because this is my first like video showing me how to do these things not how to do it but like me doing it y'all i don't know i just decided to pick the camera up and start recording it so it, it's a bunch of random like cooking quote unquote clips but i can use it for a video because i recorded it um but yeah i'm slicing all of this up and then i'm gonna add some sugar and you know guesstimate to your preference how much sugar you want if you want to eat this uh because I don't do the measurements. I know. I listen to the little voice in my head that say, "Okay, so that's enough. You can stop." And then I stop. So yeah. Um, and then my grandma did eat some of this as well because it was a lot. Um, but this is also another snack that I could eat as a midnight snack or something to hold me over to the next meal. It is also quite filling. And these are like healthy but not so healthy because I add things to make them a little bit less healthy but it's still on the healthier side. Y'all, I don't know. In my head, it made more sense to eat the this and the cucumbers as a snack um, versus eating like a zebra cake or a honey bun or like something that's like real junk food material. But yeah, and y'all gonna see me, y'all, and listen, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm real lazy. Y'all gonna see me add this sugar to these strawberries and these grapes. And I am gonna be using Brayden's baby spoon. Because I was too lazy to go in the dishwasher and get a clean spoon. And I can eat with his baby spoons. I have no shame in my game. But this is also a 10 out of 10 recommend. Literally it's strawberries and grapes with sugar on it. And you know, strawberries and grapes have its own natural sugars anyway. Or like sweetness. But this just makes it a little bit more sweet. How I like it. But okay, bye. Thanks for watching.